Well, hey there. Thanks for tuning in. So, I just got a new van. So, I decided to make a video of my old setup. It was a Chevy Express, 2006 Chevy Express 1500. So, I'll uh, just give you guys some ideas. I'm an electrician, by the way, if you haven't noticed. So, <clears throat> I have a combination of both metal and it's a little bit of wood shelving that I added myself. So, we'll start off with the back door here. Built a little, uh, box up here secured to the door hold uh, some miscellaneous stuff built another box here to hold the garbage can okay and then these all close in there no problem this door here build another box for my drop cloths some hooks for the extension cords got a hook there for all my MC box with miscellaneous bulbs some cat5 wiring down there got some uh, RG6 some more wiring there took a, a four inch PVC uh, um, pipe strapped it hold on my big bits in there I built this shelf back here to hold some wiring a little shop back with a bungee what I also did is put some uh, put some hooks up in there and hold a ladder up strapped up to the ceiling uh, that way I don't have a ladder rack I save on gas mileage as well as I can go through car washes and I was able to park in my van uh, and park my van in the garage as well so that's one of those uh, six foot a-frame ladders that extends out to a nine foot a-frame ladder and then also extends out to like a 20 foot extension ladder so it worked really well it was a bit heavy to get up in and out but I think it was worth it uh, and what I did is I notched my partition right there to be able to stick 10 foot pipes in built a little thing here to hold them all in place um, on this side I uh, built these little supports in there for my copper wire number six number four I basically used um, half inch galvanized pipe and uh, Support those in there. I got my uh, rotor hammer, whole hog, some miscellaneous stuff up in there. Then here I have these bins that pull out and just have some uh, miscellaneous items in there. Do them real quick here. Switches, outlets, outlets. More outlets, some plates, more plates, wall plates, and so forth. And there, here I have some yellow bins with some metal boxes, some more outlets, switches, some PVC connectors, torch, caulking, more miscellaneous stuff. And up top, I have some smaller black bins with some more stuff. Okay, on this side, go ahead and take the ladder off. I have uh, some more stuff down there, rotor hammer, wire caddy, some knee pads, and then in these here, got some uh, miscellaneous stuff, okay, got my staplers, all my little connectors, up here I have my, uh, if I can get this open, I have a hole saw there that catches. my uh, hole saws, extensions, I'll lock that one there, in the middle I have a uh, <clears throat> one of those soldering guns, some miscellaneous hardware and more bins here with a lot of breakers, some weatherproof covers, more breakers, some miscellaneous stuff up there, let's go over to this bin here. voltage stuff here, some PVC cutters, got all my uh, meters, thermometers, tracers, got some more stuff in here, whoops, <laughs> yeah that drawer is broken, if you haven't noticed, I don't know how that happened, but it happened. Okay, so let's move over towards the front. 
the ladder back. By the way, I added this anti-fatigue mat on the bottom. Nice foam. Really helps on the knees getting in and out. Really makes it much easier. So let's go towards the front of the van. Alright, this is a shot here from the side. A lot of stuff crammed in here. So we'll start off with this thing I built here. Some shelves and some bands. I got some gloves in there. Got my gloves in here, shoe covers, some tape, got my uh, some glue, some slay stuff in there, zip tie holder, and a big uh, thing of uh, ABS pipe. Okay, and then I have this little door here where I hung a bunch of stuff on. And you open the door, and you got all these, all these bins to hold miscellaneous. Small parts. Okay. Close that. Put this little lock in here. Keep everything in place. Okay, over here on this side, I have uh, this here secured on a hook. Got all my fish sticks, rods, drill bits, and all the stick stuck on the side there. I'm a tool bag hanging over on this here. Got some bits up there okay got some LED lights I added in there now oh, got some more miscellaneous stuff on top there got all my boxes here got all my Makita radio some bits knockout set a socket wrench set burrow scope all my Makita tools down there a little, a little thing here with uh, for a battery holder. The green sides are fully charged. The reds are dead. Down below is all my wiring there. Okay, and then here got some hooks for my fish tapes, conduit benders, some more stuff here on the side. Got those chargers there, and they are plugged into an inverter on the um, cab side as well. So uh, that's pretty much it. It's very crammed in here. I can stand up with my knees here for, towards the front part. Um, but getting under the ladder is a little bit iffy. But having the anti fatigue mat down there really helps uh, on the knees. Yeah, that's a must have. I'm actually going to add some of this stuff in my new van. Just um, so f just walking in there, you know, on a long day just really helps walking in. At least in, in your van, you have something nice and. Uh, soft to walk in. So that's that. As you can tell, I'm a bit paranoid about organizing and I've crammed so much into this van. I have about weighed everything, everything, the shelves, all the items, me included, are at about 2300 pounds, right at the capacity of this Chevy Express V6 model. Take another shot from the back. There you have it. I hope I win the award for the most organized van in the world. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Tune in. And uh, stay tuned for the um, shelving and the uh, organizing of my new van. It'll be much nicer, much more room. There you have it. Thank you.